Imagine a world where acid rains silver and the ground melts lead. Welcome to Venus, a planet where only the bravest ventured, led by the USSR. Shrouded in thick clouds, Venus held secrets that tantalized astronomers for centuries. Its alluring glow, the brightest in our night sky after the moon, whispered tales of a paradise hidden beneath. But the truth, as we would learn, was far more dramatic. Venus was no tropical haven, but a searing inferno, a pressure cooker gone wild. Yet this did not deter the intrepid Soviet space program. They dared to dream, to challenge the very limits of human ingenuity. Their goal, to conquer Venus, to unravel the mysteries of this crimson inferno. The Soviets were pioneers, driven by an insatiable thirst for knowledge and a burning ambition to push the boundaries of human exploration. Their journey was fraught with challenges, marked by both triumphant successes and heartbreaking setbacks. But through it all, their spirit never wavered. They were explorers in the truest sense, venturing into the unknown with courage and determination. The story of their scientific discovery, their technological prowess, and above all, their unyielding human spirit that dared to reach for the stars, is one we embark on now. Join us as we journey back in time to relive the Soviet Union's epic quest to conquer Venus, a tale as captivating and awe-inspiring as the cosmos itself. The year was 1957. The world watched in awe as a tiny, beeping sphere named Sputnik soared into the heavens. This was no ordinary satellite. It was a beacon, heralding the dawn of a new era, the Space Age. The Soviet Union had thrown down the gauntlet, igniting a fierce yet exhilarating competition for space supremacy. The United States, caught off guard, scrambled to catch up. Thus began one of the most thrilling chapters in human history, the space race. The stakes were high, the pressure immense, both superpowers poured resources into their space programs, driven by national pride and the tantalizing prospect of unlocking the cosmos's secrets. The early victories belonged to the Soviets. First Sputnik, then Laika the dog, the first living creature to orbit Earth. Each milestone was a testament to Soviet ingenuity, a resounding echo of Sputnik's beak that reverberated across the globe. But the ultimate prize, the holy grail of the space race, was the moon and both nations set their sights on conquering this celestial body. On April 12, 1961, the world held its breath. A young Soviet cosmonaut named Yuri Gagarin climbed aboard Vostok 1, a tiny capsule perched atop a towering rocket. His mission to become the first human to journey into space. The countdown echoed, a symphony of tension and anticipation. Then, with a deafening roar and a blinding flash, Vostok one shot skyward, carrying Gagarin on his historic flight. For 108 minutes, Gagarin orbited Earth, gazing upon our blue planet from a vantage point no human had ever experienced. His words, the Earth is blue, how wonderful, it is amazing, crackled over the radio, forever etched in history. Gagarin's triumphant return, his capsule splashing down safely in a remote field, sent shockwaves across the globe. He became an instant global icon, a symbol of human achievement and the boundless possibilities of space exploration. The space race had reached its zenith and the Soviet Union had emerged victorious. While the world marveled at Gagarin's feet, the Soviets set their sights on another prize Venus. Earth's closest planetary neighbor Venus had long captivated astronomers. Its thick swirling clouds concealed a world shrouded in mystery. Was it a lush paradise teeming with life? or a barren wasteland baked by an unforgiving sun? The answers lay hidden beneath Venus's veil, waiting to be uncovered. The Soviets, eager to continue their string of space successes, launched a series of ambitious missions to Venus under the Venera program. Their goal was simple yet audacious, to pierce Venus's veil, to land a probe on its surface and unravel its secrets. The challenges were immense. Venus was a planet of extremes. Its atmosphere, a toxic cocktail of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid, was hot enough to melt lead. Its surface pressure, 90 times that of Earth, was equivalent to being crushed under a kilometre of water. Yet the Soviets pressed on, driven by an unyielding desire to conquer this enigmatic twin. Section 5. Venera's Foray, Piercing the Veiled Planet The early Venera missions were fraught with challenges. Probes succumbed to the intense heat and pressure, failing before they could even reach the surface. But the Soviets learned from each setback, refining their designs and pushing the boundaries of their technology. Finally, in 1970, Venera 7 achieved a historic breakthrough. It plunged through Venus's dense atmosphere, 
its heat shield bravely enduring the searing temperatures, and then a soft thud, a signal received, a moment of triumph. Venera 7 had landed on Venus, becoming the first human-made object to touch down on another planet. Although it only survived for 23 minutes, its instruments sent back vital data about Venus's atmosphere and surface conditions. The data confirmed what many scientists had suspected. Venus was a hellish world, far from the paradise some had imagined. But amidst the disappointment, there was also a sense of awe. The Soviets had achieved the unthinkable, landing on a planet that seemed determined to repel all intruders. Section 6. Triumphs Amidst the Inferno, Unveiling Venus's Secrets The success of Venera 7 spurred the Soviets on. They sent a flotilla of probes to Venus, each more sophisticated than the last. Venera 9 and 10 sent back the first panoramic images of Venus's surface, revealing a desolate landscape of volcanic plains and towering mountains. Venera 13 and 14, equipped with color cameras and drilling equipment, provided even more detailed insights into Venus's geology and composition. These missions painted a stark picture of Venus, a world of extreme temperatures, crushing pressure and volcanic activity. The Venera missions were a testament to Soviet ingenuity and perseverance. They had overcome immense technological challenges to unveil the secrets of this enigmatic world. The data they sent back revolutionized our understanding of Venus, providing invaluable insights into planetary evolution and the greenhouse effect. The Soviets had not only conquered Venus, but had also expanded the frontiers of human knowledge, reminding us of the power of exploration and the boundless wonders of the cosmos. Section 7, A Planetary Odyssey, The Soviet Success Story The Soviet Union's success in exploring Venus was no fluke. It was the culmination of years of dedicated research, innovative engineering, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. Their space program, driven by a combination of national pride and scientific curiosity, had consistently pushed the boundaries of human achievement. From Sputnik to Gagarin to Venera, they had etched their name in the annals of space exploration, inspiring generations to come. The Soviets' approach to space exploration was characterized by a unique blend of pragmatism and ambition. They were willing to take risks, to learn from their mistakes, and to constantly adapt their technology. They understood that space exploration was not for the faint of heart. It required boldness, ingenuity, and an unyielding spirit, and they embodied these qualities in every mission they launched, cementing their legacy as pioneers of space exploration. Section 8. Venus, a challenge unmet by others. The Soviet Union's success in landing on Venus begs the question, why haven't other nations replicated their feat? While the United States and other space agencies have sent missions to Venus, none have attempted a landing since the Soviet era. The answer lies in the sheer difficulty of the task. Landing on Venus is an engineering nightmare, a testament to the Soviets' technological prowess. The intense heat, crushing pressure, and corrosive atmosphere pose significant challenges to spacecraft design. Any lander must withstand temperatures hot enough to melt lead, pressures similar to being a kilometer beneath the ocean, and an atmosphere that can eat through metal. These challenges, while daunting, are not insurmountable. With advancements in materials science, thermal protection systems, and spacecraft design, landing on Venus is within the realm of possibility for other spacefaring nations. Section 9 the future of Venus. Exploration, dreams of a return. Despite the challenges, there is renewed interest in Venus exploration. Scientists believe that studying Venus, often called Earth's evil twin due to its runaway greenhouse effect, could provide valuable insights into climate change and planetary evolution. NASA and other space agencies are currently developing missions to study Venus's atmosphere, map its surface in greater detail, and even search for signs of past or present life. These missions, equipped with advanced instruments and technology, promise to unlock even more of Venus's secrets. There are even proposals for more ambitious missions, including balloons that could drift through Venus's atmosphere and rovers that could withstand the harsh surface conditions for extended periods. While landing on Venus remains a daunting challenge, the future of Venus exploration is bright, fueled by scientific curiosity and the human desire to explore the unknown. Section 10. Epilogue. The Enduring Legacy of Venera. The Soviet Union's Venera program stands as a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. 
They dared to dream of conquering a planet that seemed determined to repel all intruders, and in doing so, they achieved the unimaginable. Their legacy lives on, not only in the data they sent back, but also in the spirit of exploration they embodied. The Venera missions remind us that the pursuit of knowledge is a journey, not a destination. It is about pushing the boundaries of what is possible, embracing challenges, and never losing sight of the wonder and awe that inspire us to explore. As we stand on the cusp of a new era of space exploration, let us remember the lessons learned from the Venera program and embrace the challenges and triumphs that lie ahead. The cosmos awaits, and the spirit of exploration, once ignited, burns brighter than any star.